We are working around the clock to fight the public health emergency posed by the COVID-19 outbreak. To mitigate its impact and treat those affected. It has been an all-out effort to beef up health services, help companies remain in business, and keep people in jobs and provide for them through this period of profound economic disruption. We are moving fast. In only one week, our fiscal measures to support the economies of the euro area have about doubled in size. These, on top of all automatic stabilizers, which are very powerful in our economic and social models. The European Commission has de facto suspended the constraints of our fiscal rules. The European Central Bank is taking exceptional action with a new program to support financial stability and prevent further fragmentation. All this is unprecedented. And more is coming. Institutions like the ESM, the European Commission, and also the EIB are exploring ways to increase our crisis response firepower. All these institutional efforts are complementary and coordinated. Our aim is to add new lines of defense to the euro, preventing this economic crisis to morph into a financial one. This is what will be at the table of the Eurogroup today. We will be laying the ground. My aim is to report solutions to leaders' summit this Thursday, not curtailing any possible way forward. Our capacity to look ahead is key to achieve informed decisions at the highest political body of our union.